So the next very important part of dealing with files and folders is learning how to read a file. A lot of times you will have to use UFT to read some kind of a file, some kind of a common delimited file, some kind of an XML, maybe a JSON, and be, you need to be able to parse it, get the information that you want, and then use that information for your purposes. So let me show you guys how to do that. In order to read from a file, the very first thing that you need to do is make sure that the file actually has content in it. If it doesn't, then you have no point in doing anything with it. Okay, so first check that it has content in it. The next thing to do is to keep checking that the f you have not reached the end of the file. So we develop a kind of a loop to help us with reading a file. So you can do something like a do while loop. And I recommend you use this. Just might as well copy my code, reuse it, and then do any kind of logic that you want inside of the loop. So for example, we're going to use a do while loop. Hopefully you guys remember what it does. So do while the file object at end of stream is equal to false. So this says that we're going to do while the object at end of stream has not reached the end of the file is equal to false. So while the object has not reached the end of the file, we are going to do some actions. And those actions should be something like this, where you get a variable and then you store the value of the line inside of that variable. And this right here is a very common technique for appending values to a variable. You guys should memorize it. You will use it in many instances. And how it works is you have the variable and remember that the value is first evaluated on the right side of the equal sign and then it's stored into the variable. So this is evaluated. So we arrive at this point and our variable str line is not going to have anything in it. And we're going to append to it the first line that we read and then we store that in a variable. So now it's going to have a value of one. After that, we're going to repeat that process and then it's going to hold the value of line two and so on and so forth. And I'll show you guys that in an example. And finally, after you're done with reading that file and you store everything in a variable, you close that file, okay? Using objfile.close method. So let me quickly create a file that we can read. So let's write here Okay, so let me comment this out. And we got our object. Let's just change the path. And comment here. And now let me show you guys that in real life of how to read a file. 